Buhari's emo visits, our families prayed for our safety. Femi Adesheno, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Mr. Femi Adesheno, has disclosed that a president visit to emo state on Tuesday was preceded by trepidation following the state of insecurity in the southeast. He said apparently unsure of their safety, families, friends, relations and well wishes of those on the interior of a president, we are full of prayers for their safe return. He said they all therefore felt relieved upon their safe return. Addition I made a disclosure in a syndicated weekly column, weekly column from the inside Friday with Femi Addition published in front page. His words, a lot of trepidation had preceded a trip to Imo State, family, friends. While we just were full of prayers, were some even wondering why we are going into such an area in the first place. They were all very relieved when we came back in one piece. The presidential spokesman who berated those behind the con continental terrorism in the southeast of a country, one that they read such a violence against the people they said they were to be fighting for. I think those agitating for one thing or the other should change strategy, engage, convince, dialogue, play better politics that would emancipate the region, stop the urge of bloodletting because even your own people are tired. They're like men and women in servitude and subjugation. They want to be free. That was what we saw in Uberi, and it's a perfect picture of what is happening in the entire Southeast region, he said. Additional said from his observation during the visit to the, the visit of a president to Imo that people of the Southeast were tired of the shackles characterized by the incessant sit at home and endless attacks. He said, you know what I saw in the war and environs? If people fed up with shackles, waiting to bust loose, and I enjoyed their liberty once again. Man is born free, but everywhere he's in chains. Russell in the social contract. Over a people cast off their shackles, came out signing, came out singing and welcoming the president. That was what they wanted, and it was what they got. Who first put the people that say they want to liberate under bondage? They cabin and creep them every Monday, ghost Monday they call it, when no business must be done, at huge social and economic cost. And any other day, the leader of a separatist movement, currently standing trial, also appears in court. They compel the people to sit at home, to discredit and sorrow. Today was one of such, Tuesdays was one of such days. But did all the people stay at home? Not so. They were tired of having been turned to slaves when they were born free. You could see the excitement, the joy in their faces, and they turned out to receive the president. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm and then do not be encumbered once more by the yoke of slavery. Galatians 5 verse, 5, verse 1. And they should have pointed out that Buhari administration had contrary to insinuation done, done so much a better done is so much better to better done is so much to better the lot of the people of the southeast he gave a long list of some development projects carried out by the current government to the southeast all right uh, i think on tuesday here buhari went to oweri and uh, on getting there this is what they're telling us hmm. so they're telling us that they were full of prayers eh? I know he has something like this when the president was actually, he went to Castina and was attacked in Dora. We know he has said they were full of prayers. The devil will stop to the place in the gallery for this country. A whole good lot of things will get better. And my remind you, it's not even the first time. Okay, maybe, maybe this is coming from the because of the Ifan Yobas attack. Just, was it two days before that particular day that, you know, they went there? Before the visit. I think it is two days or more. Maybe, just maybe, but thank God they came back in one piece. Thank God. All right. The people are subjugated to instant annihilation, killings, destruction of properties, and maiming, all in the name of offering them freedom. The question is, who gives what he does not have? Exactly. Look, I've said it before. You see the sit at home, eh, that uh, they do in the southeastern region. It is not, it is not in their favor. They are not doing it happily. It is just a very few, and that few is not even up to 2% of them, 
that do it and tell you, eh, they can sit at home anyhow they want to, that don't worry, they'll sit at home. Lies. There are people who do, don't, they don't, they don't feed if they don't step out of the houses. So those people, what do you expect them to do? There are people who, they, on a daily basis, they spend money on their sick ones, on their sick loved ones. So if they don't go out, they don't, there's no money to spend. They don't just sit down on Monday too. They sit down on every other day that um, this Delhi, that the indigenous people of Biafrida goes to court. Which means if Monday is a Monday is, is a ghost Monday, Tuesday will be a ghost Tuesday as well. If at the, if if Tuesday and Wednesday there are days where in Namibia can at we are appear in court, the same Tuesday as in Tuesday and Wednesday goes. Then their week begins on Thursday. They are not enjoying this at all. There is no how you can tell me that these people are actually enjoying this. What that what is going on? It's not possible. Your family wants you there because you are a disgrace to them. I don't understand. No matter what is better than you in the society and it contributes a lot of achievement for his country. Development unlike you, paras parasite, unpatriotic citizen. <laughs> Alright, Femi, we know who you are. Hungry day your body. Stomach infrastructure. Now, the thing is, whether I like it or not, what he said, I believe to an extent because I agree to an extent because the people, they are tired. They are tired. Most of this happenings that happened, you know, and they are even tired because they are more tired because the people that started this at home, they have said, okay, let's lift it. Then some fraction, I don't know if it is some fraction of them, are not wanting to. There are people who, the indigenous people of Rafa have come out to say, okay, they have thought about this seat at home on Mondays and it does not favor them. Because at the end of the day, the court days does not, sometimes it doesn't fall on Monday. They were like, okay, the days they are going to be going to court, they should do, you know, they should turn it to ghost days. If that is a ghost, at um, the Tuesday, a ghost Tuesday or ghost Wednesday or ghost Thursday, what have you. But this one, like I said, they have ghost Mondays. Then if one is, if Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are days, it's going to be in court. That is how they will be at home. These people, they're not enjoying it. There is nothing to enjoy here. There's nothing to be envious of. The people are tired. And the thing is that they are sitting back because of fear. People who have stepped out of their houses during this period, that they say sit at home, problem for them. Some of them did not, they did not make it back. Some of them, they, 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 they were, you know, Different stories. So to avoid, people will tell you, ah, instead of you to go and they start looking for you, it's better you stay and be in one piece with your family. That is what they now resort to. And it is not supposed to be so. So sincerely, sincerely, with all I'm going to ask it, I'm going to say it. They should actually look for another strategy. They should find another strategy. Just like I said before, this, this thing never work. As you do something, you know work for it. What do you do? You try and adjust to make to, to see whether maybe if you try looking from another angle, it go work for you. Or if you try another another way, it go go for you. That is what they are advised to do. Mr. F Mr. Deshino, I thought you said you and your family, I thought you said you and yours are doing well in the area of good governance. Why are you afraid to go out for official function outside of Rock? What a pity and you have just a few months to go. Then I will see who will protect you. Very pathetic human being in the government. And let me ask this question. If Buhari is really doing well, eh, why, are that, I mean, why is that? If we want to really tackle this particular issue, why, are, why, why is he going to be scared? Why are your family members going to be scared of you traveling to the region? I think saying I don't do well. I think this is a sign and it, is, it should be a kind of eye-opener to you. Say you get areas where you don't really do well because you cannot separate the southeastern region from Nigeria. No matter what is going on, you cannot separate them from Nigeria. So it is a kind of thing where we say, you know, not do well for insecurity. If you know, they said, you know, do well, I guess this reminds you, you know, you're not supposed to do well or you're not supposed to do better. All right, so on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.